Dr. Dave here to show you in 10 minutes 10 categories of shots that every pool player must know. At the end of the video, I recommend some resources to help you gain the knowledge and develop the skills necessary to learn and master all of the shots shown. First, you need accurate, consistent, reliable, and controlled stun, follow, and draw for cue ball control. Stop shots are very important. Here's a 9 ball safety stop shot. You also need good stun shot tangent line control. Here, I need tangent line motion to get the breakout. Precision follow and draw are also key skills. Knowing when and how to visualize the natural angle using the 30 degree rule peace sign is very helpful. Here, I'm using it with ball in hand to break out the cluster. Putting all of these skills together lets you get easy runouts. Here, I'm using the natural angle to come into the line of the next shot with a large margin for error with speed. And here, I'm using a half ball hit equal separation shot to play an effective safety. Knowing how to apply the trisect or three times the angle system for draw shots can be very helpful. Here, I'm using it to plan a breakout shot. Again, putting all these skills together lets you get easy runouts. Using English or side spin is critical in advanced position play. It is important to know when and how to use right English. Left English. Running English. Reverse English. Outside English. And inside English. Rail cut shots where the object ball is frozen to a cushion require special care. First of all, with stun shots, be sure to aim to hit the cushion first to prevent throw into the cushion. To have side spin take, you need to hit the ball first, or hit the ball while the cushion is still compressing, either with follow, or with draw. If you hit the cushion first with side spin, the side spin will not be effective. When the angle into the rail is steep, you can hit the cushion first with running side spin to make the shot much easier. But you still need to be careful to not hit the ball before or during cushion compression. Otherwise, the side spin will take on the cushion. On that shot, the cue ball actually hit the object ball during the later part of cushion compression, so only part of the side spin took. Hitting the ball first or early during cushion compression results in much greater side spin effect. And if you hit the cushion before the ball, the side spin will have very little effect.
When you cut an object ball or use side spin, the object ball can be thrown offline due to sideways friction between the balls. It is important to know how to adjust for throw when necessary. It is also important to know how to use throw to your benefit when possible. Here, I'm trying to hold the cue ball for the 8 in the side. If I don't adjust my aim for throw, I will miss the shot. You need to aim to overcut shots like this to compensate for throw. I drifted a little more than I wanted, but I still had the shot. Here's an example where I can use throw to my benefit. A straight hit on the 8, barely missing the 15, goes wide of the pocket. By using soft stun, I can throw the ball into the pocket. Here, I'm using spin to throw the ball in. And here I'm using spin to throw and twist a straight bank in. Here I'm using throw to pocket offline frozen combos. Drag shots are where you hit the cue ball below center to have the cue ball slow down and lose backspin on the way to the object ball. It can be used to limit table roll off, to help hold the cue ball, to intensify side spin to help throw a ball in, or to intensify side spin to increase the rebound angle change off a cushion. Sometimes, the only option is to carom the cue ball off an object ball, or kiss an object ball off another. Here's a tangent line carom. And a natural angle carom. Here's a tangent line kiss. and a natural angle kiss. Sometimes the only option is a bank kiss. Kick shots are very important in replying to safeties and for some offensive shots. Here's a contact point mirror kick. a visual equal distance mirror kick, a midpoint parallel shift kick, a plus system kick, and a corner five system kick. Bank shots are extremely important offensive weapons when you need them. You should know how to aim slow roll two to one banks, and fast speed one third more than twice banks. And you should know how to adjust for and use spin transfer to your benefit. The jump shot is an extremely important offensive weapon in modern pool. You should be comfortable jumping over the edge of a ball with a regular cue. And jumping over a full ball with a jump cue. You should also be able to control the cue ball with jumps both with the dart stroke and a regular stroke. Finally, when a kick or jump is not a good option, it is important to be able to curve the cue ball, either with a small swerve shot or using the Coriolis aiming system for a Masse shot. Well, that was a lot to cover in 10 minutes, 
but I hope you agree that to be a top pool player, you need to master all 10 categories of shots. The only way to do this is to gain knowledge and work hard with intelligent practice. If you want some help with your learning journey, here are some useful instructional video resources. The Video Encyclopedia of Pool Shots covers all shot types in detail. How to Aim Pool Shots presents systems and techniques for aiming every type of shot. And the Video Encyclopedia of Pool Practice includes drills that help you develop the skills necessary to execute every type of shot. All of these series are available to stream or download or in DVD form at drdavebilliards.com and via the links in the video description. Good luck with your game from Dr. Dave.